This is second problem from ISI 2018 and we start with a circle, a circle which has two chords P and Q. So let's draw two chords. Uh, suppose I use a white color here. This is P, Q and this is R, S. And we, we want to find out ratio of the areas or rather the value of the area of triangle QOS. So this is PQ and this is RS and we want to find out the area of triangle QOS area of triangle QOS um, given this is what we want to find out the given information are um, the length of PO is 3 centimeters so this is 3 SO is 4 centimeters so this is 4 and area of triangle POR, so the area of this triangle is 7 centimeters, 7 square centimeters, right? And we want to find out the value of our area of triangle QOS. Now, this is a very simple problem if you know a couple of properties. Uh, the first thing that you would want to use is power of the point O. So, if you don't know what is the power of a point, you may need to go back to your geometry book and look into the definition of it. Power of the point O is a way of understanding how far O or any other point for that matter is from a reference circle. So the intuitive idea, the intuition behind uh, power of a point is uh, how far a point is from a circle. So more on this can be said uh, because it's a very useful topic in geometry. So in this particular case we will talk about the power of the point O and it's a standard theorem that power of the point O is PO times OQ which is also equal to RO times OS. RO times OS. So this tells us that PO over OS is equal to RO over OQ. And we already know the value of PO over OS, OS right? Because PO is 3 and OS is 4. So this is 3 by 4. Now why are we co computing this ratio? <coughs> we are computing this, this ratio because we will next compute the areas, ratio of areas of POR and QOS. So area of POR divided by area of QOS. We will find the ratio of these two areas. Now, it is again a standard theorem from um, geometry that the ratio of the areas of similar triangles. Uh, so let me write the theorem. Uh, ratio of areas of similar triangles. Similar triangles. Is equal to square of the corresponding sides. So uh, let me give you an, uh, an illustration of this fact uh, because once we, uh, you understand this particular theorem you basically finish, finish off the problem pretty easily. So suppose we have two similar triangles one of them is ABC, one of them is DEF. 
then area of triangle ABC and area of triangle DEF their ratio will be equal to square of the corresponding side so suppose these two angles are equal then the corresponding sides will be these two sides so it is AB square over <coughs> DE square and why is this true why is this true uh, I'll just suggest a simple proof of this fact just drop a perpendicular drop a perpendicular like this and try to show that the usual area formula for triangle ABC and DEF will give rise to this particular formula. It's quite easy, it's a standard theorem for uh, geometry. Now coming back to this particular picture, this angle PRO is equal to OQS because they are angles in the same segment. So the corresponding sides are precisely these two sides. So area of triangle POR and area of triangle QOS is equal to PO square by SO square. But that is equal to 3 square by 4 square which is 9 over 16. And now the problem becomes very easy because you already know the area of triangle POR which is 7 square centimeter so the so this implies 7 by QOS equal to 9 over 16 and you cross multiply to get the final answer.